Hey guys, Rocket Blade here once again. What's up, everybody? Welcome to a spoiler free movie review of One Night in Miami based on true events. So, what do you get when you put Sam Cook, Malcolm X, Jim Brown, Cassius Clay, aka Muhammad Ali? What do you get when you put all four of those characters or people in the hotel room? You get. A pretty damn good movie, in my opinion. Damn good movie. Um, so, Amazon Prime, um, or as, aka Amazon Studios, as it's, as it's called, when we clicked on it, uh, released this uh, movie. Uh, technically, uh, yesterday, because of, as of recording, um, it's, or as of recording, it's midnight. So as of you know, yesterday we released this movie called One Night in Miami, and it's funny based on the synopsis I'm about to tell you. You're gonna sit there and say. That sounds incredibly boring. How would that even work? As they, the, the characters they have to—I mean, you know, these are based on incredible real-life figures. They have to be the actors that they have the cast have to be very, very charismatic to carry this movie. Let me ex let me explain. So, for those of you who watch Critical Role, especially season two of Critical Role, they, they, you know they have an incredible cast of characters. By the way, if you haven't seen that show? Go see that show. As an incredible cast of characters, so does I would say the actors from the Avengers movies, from the Avenger movie, the Avengers movies. You know, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, Mark Ruffalo, and of course, Bill Murray, and the rest of the cast of um, Ghostbusters all have incredible chemistries. And especially with Ghostbusters, I'm hearing all people saying, "Man, I w I would just w love to watch a two-hour movie of them just being in their Ghostbusters um, like base." And then they're shooting the shit for two hours. I would pay to watch something like that. Or same thing with the cast of season two of Critical Role. Or the Avengers actors I mentioned. Heck, that party scene that they showed. Uh, when they were trying to, that one scene they were trying to, all, that, all the Avengers uh, try to lift up Thor's um, hammer. But, you know, before getting to that point, just the chemistry they were, like, building off each other was amazing. Was really, really amazing. And, you know, you, you could tell, you know, they had this incredible chemistry throughout, you know, the films, and it's, in, and it's just wonderful to see, so, I meant something like that, but as a whole movie with One Night in Miami, and again, <laughs> you know, they, 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 you know, they, you know, there's this biographies, I'm pretty sure, of each, um, real life person that they're portraying, but to put those four in, like, in a hotel room, you know, and that's all they do is just talk to each other, would that be exciting, and, like I said before, the answer is a surprising yes, Especially, in my opinion, I feel, don't get me wrong, the guy who plays Cassius Clay, aka the young Muhammad Ali, did a wonderful job. But if you want my personal opinion, the guy, the actor who played Sam Sam Cooke and Malcolm X really carried this movie. I mean, don't get me wrong, the actors who played Muhammad, uh, Cassius Clay and um, Jim Brown did amazingly well. Don't get me wrong, in fact, Jim Brown's the only one I recognize because I also saw him in the movie Strata Compton. He played one of the NWA members, um, but everyone else, at least in my based on what I know, is young blood. But they did a phenomenal job, man! Like, wow! I mean, it is them just you know, and you, and you kind of see it until the, before they you know they all meet up to this um you know before they meet up you know at this hotel. It, it kind of showed a day in life, a little bit of you know Cassius Clay and Malcolm X. Sam Cooke and Jim Brown, and eventually, eventually, you know, my Ali won a big championship fight. I won't spoil against who, because you want to, because you're wondering who he want, who he beat, become said champion. After which, by the way, they show at least two uh, fights, and um, in the movie, and man, man, oh man, I gotta tell you, they choreographed the boxing fights not only really well, but the act again, the actor who played um, Cassius Clay, aka Mama Ali. Just did a phenomenal god, he, he, phenomenal job. Excuse me, I can speak English good. Yes, <laughs> um, you know he had the, the 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 movement, you know the way he jabbed, the way he moved, his his charisma and everything. It was just the way he talks, his reflections. It wow, like he did an incredible job. Nothing against Will Smith. Will Smith did a great job, but so did this young actor here. He, I mean, he poof, he did knocked that out of the park. In fact, I mean, I know it's kind of a stretch, but if they ever want to do like a like a Muhammad Ali, like Netflix or Amazon series, 
since you know, Amazon done it. I'd be down for that. Like a TV series of my mama, Mama's Lee's life until he died. That would be interesting to see it because I think he would pull it off and do an incredible job. He, he, he did great. And, um, so yeah, after the championship fight, you know, after he, he won the big fight, they all go to his hotel room to celebrate. And, and again, you would think something like that would be boring, but it's not. It was feeding off each other, telling each other stories. And then, like, at one point, it gets. It's, it's funny how, like, because at one point, I won't spoil what happened, the mood kind of changes, and they're suddenly kind of at each other's throats. And and you would think, oh, man, this is going to be boring and stuff, but it's not. It's very intense. I was very intrigued. I was never bored. And before you know it, the movie's ends. It's like, oh, wow, almost two hours? It didn't feel like it. It, it just zooms by real fast. But at a nice, beautiful pace. It never slows down. It feels like always something's happening. Yeah, I mean, there's some slow moments, but it doesn't, like, you know, kill the movie. You're, you're, it captures your intention the entire time. And that's incredible. Like, again, you're not, like, going to... I mean, towards the end, it kind of... So, I mean, mouth spoilers here, but they kind of go to a party, like, towards the end, kind of, sort of. Not really, but, like, 90... I want to say 70 to 80% of this movie is, is, in, is them in the hotel, just... Like I said before, shooting his shit. But like I said, it's it's interesting. You get you know Muhammad Ali's perspective of life, and Malcolm X's perspective, and Sam Cooke's perspective, and Jim Brown's perspective on life, and where they want to go, and what they want to accomplish, or what they're trying to accomplish with the works they're doing, or, or what they're trying to do and stuff. But it's just one of those things, like you know, and you know, they're, you know, they're laughing, they're, they're having fun. Other times they're at each other's throats, but. The chemistry was so good. I know I'm repeating myself. I apologize. But the chemistry was so good and so captivating. Like, it, it, it grabs your attention the entire time. Like I said, kudos to these actors. Like, if it was anyone else, this would have been cra- would have crashed and burned. And after, like, 30, 40 minutes, I've been like, I'm checking out. But And I was afraid of that because, like, at first, like, is this going to be the whole movie? This damn- but, again, the chemistry was so well and the things we were talking about were interesting. Especially given the time, this takes place if you're wearing in 1963, where, you know, white people and black people weren't exactly getting along. I mean, they didn't really show it, per se. Here and there, they did. It wasn't, like, a preachy movie, per se. But it, it did it did mention their, their struggles en- enough to where, you know, Sam and, you know, like, you know, especially Malcolm trying to get use Sam to, like, use his music to do more of this singing and stuff and... You know, and now you know how he wants to help Muhammad convert to Islam, and what you know Jim Brown seeing life beyond football, and it's just um, it's just, but those scenes that just they just they did so well, and not only that, I, like I said before, um, not only they 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 acted like their 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 life counterparts, they looked like them, especially um, not only you know Muhammad, you know, the guy who played Cassius Clay, aka Muhammad Ali, the guy who played Cassius Clay, aka Muhammad Ali, it's hard to repeat myself because I feel like I slurred that. His the, his name. Sorry about that. But the guy who played Malcolm X, he looked like Malcolm X, a very young Ma- Malcolm X. I mean, he, he, they all looked the part, and they acted the part. It was it was like that good charisma. They had a good acting. It was just well well done. I mean, kudos to this to the to the writers pulling this off. And again, I know I've said this every time I say these timepiece movies. Kudos to the costume people and set designers. I make you feel like. You were in the time period of 1963. Heck, even the cameras that even showed like with the advanced cameras of that era, because I show you how much we advanced. I mean, now I can take do incredible pictures and 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 films, which I'm using right now on my phone. But before you gotta get like big Hollywood equipment to get something halfway decent. Now you get like high quality stuff just off your phone on, on a basic phone. So it just shows you how far we advanced with technology. But man, it just again they, they made it, you know the cars, the clothes, everything. It, it made you feel like you're in a time period. So kudos to the set designers, and everyone that put the movie together. Overall, if you want a good, um, nearly two hour movie with these four characters in a hotel room together, just discussing about life and what they should do with said lives and just how they bounce off each other, like. And if you ever if you ever wondered what it'd be like to have all of them in the room and how would they how they respond to one another, give this movie a watch. I highly recommend it. It's a it's a damn good um um movie.
damn good movie. I, I, I cannot recommend it enough. I was, like I said, I was worried at first, but I walked away pleasantly surprised. So definitely go see One Night in Miami. You won't be disappointed. At least in my opinion, anyway. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. So it's Rocket Blade signing out. Hope to see you guys again real soon. Peace out. And have a great day.